So, you want me to look here? Do you want me to look there? Do you want me to look not at the camera at all? Do you want me to look at one of you? Um, What's your orientation? Uh, maybe that. Yeah, this camera. Okay. Yeah. Hi, my name is Jonathan Seymour. I'm the principal here at Pentucket High School. You know, one of the things that I think is really exciting about our school is all of the opportunities and choices that students have. And I think that's true both academically and as well as uh, our extracurricular programs. And as a student in the classroom, there are required classes that you have to take, but there's a lot of choice and opportunity for you to tailor your high school program to kind of meet the needs and where you want to be at the end of four years. There's a lot of choice for you around what classes you want to take. And that's true of extracurricular activities as well. There are many clubs, many activities, um, opportunities for students to get involved and really develop those leadership skills that are really important. Um, and also have a lot of fun with your friends. So there's a whole number of sports teams as well as lots of other extracurricular opportunities. I think of student government through student council or the government with each of the different uh, four classes in high school. Uh, the clubs and activities from foreign language clubs to math and science teams. All of the opportunities for students in our theater arts program and our music program. Again, there's just a whole host of things. And then if there's something that's here that uh, students are interested in, but it doesn't exist, there's the opportunity for students to create something. So already within the last two years, I think three different clubs have been started by students based around an idea that they had, and we work together and we, we come up with a way to get it started. So again, there's lots of opportunities and there's a whole lot of um, excitement and, um, and, and things for students to do here at the high school. Can you tell like why it'd be good for a uh, student to do that? Sure. Um, the best part about joining the profile is learning to find your own voice and to write about things that you care about um, and working in a supportive group in order to do so. Uh, so you really get to develop your voice. You have an incredible amount of choice and there's a lot of self-responsibility. So you kind of learn self-management, time management. And then why join the radio station? Um, we're still developing that right now. But the point is, again, to kind of be a medium to express yourself through a different medium. Because it's not good. She <laughs> wants to be in here with me. She so is in here. Stop. Miss <laughs> Corey, what do you think about the math team? Love, love the math team. The math team. What's good about the math team? It's just awesome. Wow. So much fun. Wow. You get to learn so many great things about math that you don't necessarily get to. It's true. I would say that that probably is one of the best things about math team is that. It's not really an algebra one thing or maybe a geometry thing. The thing about math team questions are they're usually a synthesis of ideas that you would see in a variety of math classes. So that's one good thing. It's experience that you probably wouldn't get in any math class by itself. Right. Well, and along with that, it really helps with your SATs because it really definitely challenges you. It's challenging. It makes you more of a problem solver, wouldn't you say? I would. And I'd say it's good for your resume, would you? Absolutely. Totally. Besides that, a lot of schools have pizza. That's always good. Free pizza. And you get to hang out with me and Miss Corey on the bus ride. Exactly. So it's a win-win. And cupcakes. And cupcakes. It's a win-win. Win. Win. Yeah. Why should people do uh, cross country and, uh, and or track? Well, Alec, the simple fact of the matter is there's no downsides side to, uh, to doing these extracurricular activities. You make friends, you uh, have a team atmosphere, and you get in good shape. It's a win-win-win. It's, it's rolling, but you can go by 70. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Ready? I do many extracurricular activities, such as student council, science league, and I'd like to just give you eight. A little bit of information about each one. So let's talk about Science League first. So Science League, that's short for North Shore Science League, is there are area schools, Danvers, Lynn, Matt, you know, Revere, etc, etc, etc. So these local schools, so we go to like all these different schools and we compete. So we make cool stuff. For example, we have this wonderful fan boat that we made last year. Yes, it works really well. So this fan boat, we competed in an event where we had to design an electric fan boat and this was the fast, not only the most stylish, but also the fastest fan boat. So it's, what's really cool about Science League is 
we get to really show our creativity. We get to really kind of do some really cool stuff. And our, the students here really enjoy it. Just talk about the book club? Oh, I'll ask you. So, oh, okay. like, what's the point of the book club and what should make like students join the book club? The book club is for students who like, obviously like to read and the students actually choose the books. They get to nominate the books and then from all the nominations they actually get to vote on what books we read for the next three months. Can you tell us about theater here at Pentucket? I can honestly say theater has made me who I am today. Mrs. McGowan gives us plenty of opportunities to create our own ideas and she's always looking for ideas, so if you have something you can tell her and usually that gets incorporated. Theater really helps you collaborate with other people because you're on stage creating a vision and you have this vision inside your head and you have to figure out a way to communicate it to everyone else and work with them. We work with tech crew, we work with people doing the curtains, so thank you tech crew. You're welcome Savannah. Here in tech crew we work on audio and video for all the events here at school. It gives students an opportunity to expand in the field and gain knowledge about it. So once they leave Pentucket, they could pursue a career in audio and video. So how did the whole live streaming thing come about? The live streaming started when we decided that we want a different way to bring student created content to the Pentucket TV YouTube channel. And we decided that bringing live coverage of most of our events here at school would be engaging and exciting for the Pentucket students. Graduation, promenade, and most of the school concerts, and that's run by myself, Alec, and Tyler, with a little help from Mr. Bart. And it's very student-run, and we all put it together, and we try to bring a great production for the Pensucket students. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I'm Steve Bartholomew, video production teacher here at Pentucket High School. I've actually started teaching another class, though, video game modding. It all started with a few students wanting to play Super Smash Brothers. So. From that, we started modifying our Nintendo Wii, and we now play Super Smash Bros. Project M, which has custom characters, uh, locations, music. It's really cool. And now we've taken that same philosophy from the Wii to computer games. So uh, games like Warcraft 3, Zero AD, and OpenRA, students will start off by playing, but then kind of work backwards and go into the code and be able to adjust the game that they've learned how to play to make it even better and make it something that's unique to what they want to have happen. It's really, really cool stuff to see happen, and it's really quite a bit of fun. We just had our first semester of it over the summer, and I think we were supposed to get out at about 11 o'clock on Mondays, but usually ran till about 1.30 because nobody really wanted to leave, and the only thing I had to go home for was uh, my wife and child. So, can you tell us about the Model UN Club? In essence, Model UN is the Model United Nations, and it is really modeled after the United Nations itself, which helps resolve conflicts around the world between countries without violence. And being part of this club really helps you learn how to debate your ideas, solve problems, and really shows you the world as a whole and how people work together, um, depending on where they live. and you get to see lots of different cultures. And you really get to work on a lot of life skills like public speaking and um, working in a professional environment and things like that. There are definitely a lot of benefits to Model Young Club, as Cam said, along with public speaking. It really works to get you out there and express your own ideas in a way that you can communicate them to others and finding solutions to big issues that even politicians haven't necessarily found solutions to. So there gives a lot of room for creativity and collaboration. All right, all set. Hi, I'm Senorita Cavallaro, and with Mr. Jake's um, we co-chair the Student Council, and we're so excited to have the opportunity to do that. Um, the Student Council is a heartbeat here at Pentucket, and we focus on running events that encourage school spirit and um, giant community situation. We run blood drives, we run spirit week, homecoming dances, um, and any other events that kind of pull the kiddos together and get them working as a team. So we feel like a big happy Sachem family. Go Sachems! <laughs>